Volcanoes within Hawaii's main islands which have erupted in recent geologic timescales are typically associated with the Big Island. There, the Mauna Kea, Hualalai, Mauna Loa, and Kilauea volcanoes have all produced at least one volcanic eruption in the last 5,000 years. Yet, Hawaii's Big Island is not the only recently volcanically active region in the state. Moving to the northwest on the island of Maui is another volcano which has erupted since the area was settled. What I am referring to is the highly scenic and tall shield volcano known as Haleakala, whose summit is dotted with numerous cinder cones and young lava flows. And, this might come as a surprise to some people, but in ranking the number of volcanic eruptions, each active or potentially active volcano in Hawaii, which is above sea level, has produced in the last 1,000 years, Haleakala does not rank last out of the five volcanoes. Rather, it ranks third as it has produced 10 volcanic eruptions since 1000 CE. This means it has produced more eruptions in the last 1,000 years than the Mauna Kea and Hoa'alai volcanoes, but less than the Mauna Loa and Kilauea volcanoes. Much of this recent volcanism has occurred along two rift zones, one which goes towards the east and another which trends to the southwest. Haleakala's most recent eruption occurred around 1540 CE, depositing the lava flows shown on screen. However, this same southwest rift zone contains a more distant feature which is not on the island of Maui proper. Three miles offshore of Maui's coastline is a ring-shaped structure which is popular among divers and is volcanic in origin. Known as Malokini, this structure formed more than 100,000 years ago in an unusual submarine explosive eruption and will luckily never erupt again. Although submarine volcanic eruptions are uncommon in the context of Hawaii, they have occurred in historical times and been witnessed. For example, in 1877, a submarine volcanic eruption of the Mauna Loa volcano was witnessed by numerous individuals on the volcano's western flank. However, this eruption completely remained underwater, as, if it had continued, it might have formed a feature similar to Molokini. Molokini rises a little more than 600 feet from the ocean floor to a height of approximately 150 feet above sea level. It has a currently crescent shape, much like a waxing gibbous moon, but this only describes its surface above sea level. As, if you outline an approximately 1,736 foot wide circle, you can see the original rim that Molokini once had. Although Molokini might look like the exposed rim of a center cone, it is instead a different type of volcanic vent known as a tuff cone. While tuff cones can form in a wide variety of circumstances, they are a hallmark of volcanic eruptions regardless of source lava composition, which originate at shallow depths in a lake, sea, or ocean. For example, approximately 14,000 years ago, a vent which would later become known as Tabernacle Hill erupted at shallow depths of the now non-existent Lake Bonneville. This feature, which is now exposed, provides a good indication of what Molokini once looked like. Or, if you want to see a tuff cone in the context of a vent which erupted at shallow depths in an ocean, I present the once central portion of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcano as it appeared during 2020. Molokini originated approximately 230,000 years ago after a strong series of earthquakes occurred on the southwestern flank of the Haleakala volcano. These earthquakes, over a time span of perhaps 48 hours, subsequently progressed further downslope until they reached submarine depths. Then, lava finally erupted onto the ocean floor in an explosive manner, sending a plume of steam and ash rising to the surface, and ejecting fragments of volcanic rock in a wide area. As the vent continued to build from the ocean floor, its eruption continued to get more and more explosive. Sir saiyan style eruptive activity then occurred, which has a distinguishable white and gray coloration in its plume. After several days to weeks, a distinguishable rain-shaped island formed. The reason why this style of eruption forms tuff cones in the shape of a ring is because, although the most abundant accumulation of ashfall occurs right adjacent to an erupting vent, semi-continuous explosions will carve out the central portion of the circle, forming a ring. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.